Welcome, and thank you for joining me, Marcus Hayden, a Big Fix technical advisor for HCL Software, as I discuss one of our newer capabilities as part of Big Fix 10, which is our ability to leverage MDM policies inherent within Mac OS and Windows. This session specifically is going to focus on Windows, but I will do a follow-up session where we will discuss uh, what this looks and feels like on the Mac side. So Big Fix and MDM policies. Uh, as part of Big Fix 10, as I, as I had uh, discussed, we introduced our ability to tie into the MDM capabilities within Windows and Mac. Uh, we offer the option to uh, enroll that device in MCM. And then from there, we can now start issuing either single actions or a collection of actions known as a policy for uh, many of our devices that maybe have gone off our corporate network now, uh, doing things like ensuring password uh, complexity and uh, expiration times, retries, uh, being able to wipe a device, lock a device, uh, issue restarts, uh, many of those type of actions. Also on the Mac side, being able to uh, tie into the kernel extensions now. Uh, and this is all done without the big fix agent, uh, key point to know. Uh, but thereafter, should the big fix agent need to be installed, uh, it's a very seamless process to install that agent uh, now that we've got visibility from an MDM side. Uh, so for folks looking to do BYOD enrollment uh, or you know just looking to uh, not have agents installed uh, whatever the case might be, it, this makes it very seamless and, uh, and possible to do such actions. So uh, for this part of the video, what I'm going to show is how we handle all of that. So all of this is going to be done in the web UI. And, and a key point, point here is that this web UI is running off of a big fix installment in the cloud. This box sitting here is running locally at my home on a, on a VM. So, you know, for there are folks who are always asking, do, does big fix run in the cloud? Uh, can I put big fix in the cloud? Can it manage devices in the cloud? Can it manage devices at home? We can cover all of that. I'm, I'm displaying that, you know, in the background here as we, uh, as we walk through this, this presentation. Uh, but in, in looking at these custom policies, uh, the first thing we want to do is enroll the device. And we have a series uh, out there that discusses enrollment. Uh, but once a device is enrolled in Big Fix MCM, Modern Client Management, we will see when we log into this machine here uh, that it is connected to the Big Fix Modern Client Management uh, MDM server. Uh, we can check that. Here's the server, the, the workstation name here. This is Windows 10. Uh, and as we navigate over here, we look for our devices on the Big Fix server. And we can go by managed by, we know it's managed by MDM, uh, uncheck Windows or Mac. And then we also want to, we know that the Big Fix agent isn't installed. So we can even check to narrow it down. So that we're just looking at machines that are managed by MCM alone. And as I uncheck this, you'll see uh, if the Big Fix agent is there, we've got the Big Fix logo. Uh, we're looking for ones that it's not installed on. We can see that that mint name matches up over here with my, my workstation. And that's going to be the machine that we're targeting for this uh, specific example. So we can see it hasn't checked in in 12 days. Uh, this isn't going to operate like the big fix agent does. If I, if I go back to this and uncheck and see these devices, we're going to see that those, provided they're online, are checking back in and what we've come to expect out of a machine that has the big fix agent installed on it. Uh, MDM works a little differently where it's going to be on uh, and if I can manually sync this uh, by going in here, clicking on info,
and then navigating to the sync and going ahead and triggering that. The sync is in progress, and this is just going to tell my workstation to check back in with the Big Fix MCM server. Uh, so we'll see that here change momentarily. And we can now see that it's reporting in. It's checked in two minutes ago. The sync's probably still going to happen, but the key thing to know here is that the sync does not have to be current for the connection and the actions and policies that you're going to put on a particular device uh, to actually work. So I'm going to take a step out of Big Fix for a moment just to discuss and give a little background to these MDM components that, that Microsoft uses. Uh, you can very easily go out to docs.microsoft.com, type in uh, Windows policy CSPs, something along those lines, and you'll get this documentation that discusses, you know, mobile device management as it relates to Windows 10. And uh, then you get all of these CSPs, these configuration service providers, which are the pieces that we actually tie into uh, to kick off various actions. And you can see they have, Microsoft has uh, a bunch of these. And these are all things that we can configure, can trigger from Big Fix, no Big Fix agent on, as long as that device has been enrolled uh, with the MDM server now. Uh, and like I had mentioned, the one I'm going to focus on is the Windows Defender. This has become very popular in way of uh, expensive antivirus tools. Uh, it's their free offering. And uh, what I'd like to show is just how, if a device gets compromised, uh, you see suspicious activity, how we kick off an offline scan to that. Um, sending an action from Big Fix to this MCM enrolled device and telling it to reboot in Defender offline mode and scan itself, come back online, clean, healthy, uh, perhaps that, that suspicious activity disappears. So uh, Microsoft lists out very nice examples of how uh, the various features you have related to Defender, things you can check with the health, um, do quick scans, all of that, and then down as we get further, um, it will actually give us the, the coding behind this, which is a form of XML called Sync ML. And this is kind of the body and the format that it needs to be in. And, and remember that because we're going to need that for these custom policies within Big Fix. Uh, and as we scroll down, specifically here, is going to be the offline scan right here. Uh, so when we tell it, you know, a scan, it's going to be either a quick scan or a full scan, but we're also going to denote that it is an offline scan that we want to perform. So in keeping with that, that theory there, you, you know, you can go here, you can look at the sync ML and, and try and figure out, you know, how you construct it based off of the options, the switches that, that Microsoft provides here. Or there are uh, a series of um, tools out there that can help you build this Sync ML. This one specifically is a policy builder. And uh, where I would like to uh, go here is, you know, you pick your pick your uh, feature set of uh, Windows 10. And I'm going to use 1803 in this case, because that's the version I'm working off of. Uh, and we would select Defender and Configure. And that's going to put all of the Sync ML. It's going to generate it for us. So again, scan. What scan are we doing? We're going to do a, uh, in this case, I'm just going to do a quick scan. I know that my machine is pretty healthy. Uh, shouldn't find anything, but could be a surprise here, uh, but for the sake of this this presentation and speed, I'm going to do quick scan. So back over my policy builder at one, we can see that populates all of the sync ML over there for us. Update signature, I'm gonna leave blank, and then offline scan, we're going to enable that. And we can see that it has, uh, it has added all of that information there, defender, offline scan, and the scan of type 
uh, one, which is the quick scan. So now you can either hit the copy up there um, or you can select it all and copy it. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to be notified when there's updates, please subscribe to the Big Fix TA YouTube channel. The link is below.